what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we'll continue with our series on fire of inspirations and today i wanted to speak something on the game of chess oh my god game of chess what does it have to do with our lives <laughs> there are lots of things which the game of chess is there for us to learn anything from so what is the game of chess and before beginning on that i would like to say that god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him in the game of chess <laughs> and if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then i don't know what to say please subscribe <laughs> and if you like this video then click the like button at the end of course not now <laughs> you can click it now also and if you want a personal consultation with me then please see my website below and go there and book a consultation with me therefore let's start with the game of chess what is the game of chess well what happens in the game of chess i don't know anything about the game of chess to be very honest so i will not try to beat around the bush okay there are these many things these many rows these many columns i don't know anything about it but recently i was hearing a lecture uh, by a spiritual guru so he was telling something about this game of chess so i thought why not share it with everybody it's a beautiful analogy which he gave what he said is suppose somebody is a very expert chess player very expert somebody like vishwanath anand from india i'm just giving an example because i know him since he's from my country or anybody any other great player of the game of chess so what happens is when you have those players i think there's a king and there's a queen and there are ponies also in that and there are different uh, categories of the i don't know what you call that <laughs> the players of the game so expert chess player will know where to put which one which one to put right left front or back yes but when we are observing suppose two people are playing chess master chess players world champions and then they are playing things in a way which we cannot understand suppose we are the spectators suppose a person like me is sitting there and i am observing it then i will not be able to understand what the hell is going on there <laughs> why this person has put the this particular uh, uh, soldier ahead or why the king or why the queen there are rules that the king can go this side or he can't go that side and as far as i know the queen can go anywhere that, that is the rule i guess so we cannot understand why has this person played this trick why did he not use that soldier which was sitting there two columns ahead why did he use this <laughs> so similarly he was telling us that when we take to the spiritual path then what happens we are like that spectator who is trying to observe things from outside we do not know what's going on and then what happens is god is like that master chess champion undisputed what you say undisputed right or uninterrupted <laughs> uninterrupted world's biggest chess champion so then what he is doing is he is seeing our chess board and then he is seeing okay this guy has this thing here she has this here so maybe i will take this and i'll put it forward and we are like those spectators who are sitting outside and we are observing but unfortunately we cannot understand why god is doing that so that time what we should do for example we plan to give um, suppose we take this and we think that we will put this ahead but then god says no 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 not this that and then we are like why why not this why that 
let me give you an example in the day to day life we may take some decisions we may face reversals for example many people come and tell me that i love this girl i loved this boy i wanted to marry him or her but i could not marry i am not talking of a spiritual people here i am talking of generally the general public for them it is simply a part of their karma there is no chess game going on there <laughs> if you are not spiritually connected to god you are just under the jurisdiction of karma and the nine planets to some extent your free will acts but most of it is already predecided but if you take to spiritual pursuits if you try to go close towards god then what happens god removes you from the jurisdiction of the planets and he takes you into his own lap and then he will take your life which is like the game of chess where you don't know should i put this ahead or should i put this back or right or left that player that pony <laughs> but god knows perfectly which one to put ahead where how much when and why and which one not also to do all right and then what happens ultimately checkmate <laughs> that is the end result there is a checkmate which means we defeat the enemy yes or else if we try to do things on our own whims then we may think apparently okay if i put the king ahead maybe i may get this but then god knows okay if you give this the enemy is going to hit you from that side so no i will not let you give this pull it push it back <laughs> and then he pushes something ahead so when you are going ahead in the spiritual path it is very important that we let god become the driver the captain of our ship this is not for the general public i am saying this is for those people who may stay in the material world who may have families who may have job who may be studying or doing anything else which other people are doing but they are doing some spiritual practices because they have a desire to go close to the almighty to the supreme being this is only for those people i am saying <laughs> if you are not one of them then this video will not make any sense to you you will feel that this person is just bluffing or he is just blabbering whatever is coming in his mouth he is just speaking but if you are somebody who is having a desire to go close towards god and you are taking steps towards that direction then what you will perfectly understand that i am making sense here which means simply that when we are trying to go close to god then there can be situations which we do not understand why that happens as of now from our little tiny fund of intelligence we may not be able to fathom the ultimate cause behind this but we should always have this faith that god as the master chess champion he knows which one to put ahead or which one to put back so when things fail or there are reversals or when things go exactly the opposite of the way we plan understand that god has a different plan he has said no don't put this ahead put it back if you put this ahead from there you will be smashed now we don't know that the spectator doesn't know spectator is just speculating maybe because of this that happened maybe because of that this happened but no even if we try to understand we may not be able to understand at that moment but in course of uh, my spiritual journey i have seen from last 10 years every incidents which happened in my life that was for uplifting me more and more spiritually that i can say but before that it was just like a ruckus it's like a circus anything is going on something sometimes this sometimes that it's complete circus <laughs> there's no chess there what is chess chess is a very planned game everything has consequences there 
anything you do you can either win or you may lose one blow will decide <laughs> so that is what i wanted to say that trust the will of the supreme lord and just try to go close to him by your spiritual practices whatever else happens if there are reversals even after you do your duty then think that he is telling you no no my dear you are going wrong go back i will not let you go there <laughs> all right that is it from my side if you are new to this channel then subscribe to it and if you like this video click the like button and if you want a personal consultation from me then the link to my website is there below check it out vedic renaissance it's a new website some people have said it's a beautiful website <laughs> all right that is it from my side have faith and know that god is there with you all the time just like the game of chess and the life of a spiritual spiritualist or a spiritually inquisitive person until next time wish you good luck with your spiritual pursuits bye bye see you